Fame, money, adulation, for Nigeria's top footballers, the rewards can be great. But success also has a darker side. With kidnapping on the rise in Nigeria, players and their families are becoming targets. I thought my dad was going to be shot because they said they will. National team captain John Obi Mikel knows all about it. His father has been kidnapped twice. The second time was while he was away playing at last year's World Cup in Russia. Because of what I do, playing football and try to put a smile on people's faces and try to represent the country and try to make the country proud, I'm paying the price for it. In the first three months of this year, nearly 700 people were kidnapped in Nigeria. If that trend continues, the total figure will be more than double what it was two years ago. Among those kidnapped last year was the mother of Samuel Kalu, one of the younger members of Gennet Roa's Nigeria squad. Kalu plays in France with Bordeaux, where Roa also lives. Kalu, he was crying all the time. He was uh, not sleeping for one week. I invited him in my home and he spent the weekend uh, with, with us, with my family, and he could speak and call with his family all the time. Kalu's mother was released six days after being abducted by gunmen. I told to Kalu, don't speak too much with them. Let do your dad. They want to involve you, which means that they will ask more and more money. Families do end up paying a ransom when a loved one is kidnapped, dealing direct with the criminals. But that goes against the official advice from police, who say they refuse to negotiate. If you keep the police away and you keep on negotiating, they'll get free cash and go, and still come back again to continue with it. So we are working on kidnapping generally. We are facing it head on as a challenge that must be confronted, and um, we are winning the war. That's not a view shared by everyone, including those who have made it their job to protect high-profile figures from the threat of kidnapping. Public figure, celebrities, footballers, that visibility you have, that money you're making that is blurred all over the news comes with a lot of implications and responsibilities. And we do not seem to have celebrity who think about this. Our law enforcement agencies have challenges, and the challenges they face are overwhelming. Most people, even with police involvement, end up paying ransoms. Sadly, not all kidnappings are resolved successfully. Victims are killed by their captors for various reasons, failure to pay a ransom, a refusal to trade prisoners, or simply because there is a chance they just might reveal their identity. I'm here to meet with a former footballer who knows this only too well. My father's adoption happened 2014. He was coming out from the morning mass. Because my father, we are such Catholic, he goes to morning mass every morning. So they called me. I, I did not pick up the phone. So they called my twin sister. And they were slapping my daddy. My daddy was crying, you know, please people should do something. You know, they are, trying, they are doing something that is very, very painful to us. They're holding some wigs and everything and he died in their hands, you know? As with last year's World Cup, Nigeria's national team, nicknamed the Super Eagles, will be away from home again in June and July, playing at the Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt. Players are looking at ways to keep their families safe. It's the government that have to protect the citizens, you know? And it's difficult to, when you're rich in Nigeria, you have to tread carefully. Every human, every citizen in this country, they deserve better, they deserve uh, 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 maximum security for them to be safe, you know. Authorities say they take the threat to the team seriously and have dedicated personnel looking at the problem. We have always considered the, the security of uh, those uh, patriotic Nigerians who are representing our country in sports, then also looking at their families. So definitely the MPF is doing something on it. We have a unit of the MPF at the force headquarters that is responsible for sports. The BBC has tried to find out how many people work for that department, but has so far been unable to get an answer. 
The Super Eagles do have security attached to their squad when on international duty. The kidnap attempts are becoming bolder, the ransom figures are becoming higher, and it is becoming, I want to say, a national embarrassment, if not even a national security threat. Nigeria will be among the favorites when the Cup of Nations kicks off on the 21st of June as they bid for a fourth African title. Victory on the pitch is important, but the safety of family members back home must be the ultimate goal.